Hi guys, it's Christmas City Girl Homestead. Back for dinner. You'll probably get me taste testing tonight because Tom's still gone on his side job. <laughs> so I'm going to do this in two parts tonight. Well, you won't know it's two parts, but it will be. Um, the first one is going to be oven and the other one's going to be top of the stove. So I am going to make two things I've never made. So <laughs> I'm going to make crunchy, un crunchy onion chicken. So, I'm going to bring you down here so you can see what we're going to do. All right. The first thing is I have two cups of the um, fried onions. And I'm going to mix it with two tablespoons of flour. This just sounded so good. I was like, i got to try that. Because I don't like to do a bunch of duplicates. I'm searching and searching all the time for something. <laughs> Alrighty, that looks pretty good. Now it says on here one egg, but I have those little tiny ones again. So we're going to put three, because they really are small. I can't believe I accidentally bought those, but I did, and too late now. So you just have to use double and triple the eggs. I have to do more than that, actually. And we're going to beat the eggs together. This is going to be super, super easy. It says to use four boneless chicken breasts. I have three, and I cut them all in half. So the first thing we're going to do is dip it into the egg mixture. Make sure you coat both sides, because you want both sides of your chicken to be crunchy. And then... Dip it into the onion mixture. This is going to be yummy, I can just tell. Put it on a slightly greased pan. Nothing usually sticks to that, but I did what it said. And put it on a slightly greased pan. Usually it knows more than I do, so... Let me get these all... Crisped up. I can't believe how big these breasts are. Must be some glorious chickens is all I got to say. <laughs> look at that. I'm going to look good. You know, there's a lot of things people, they use that, these onions, and they just use them at Thanksgiving for that Whatever that dish is, I've never made it, so I don't know what it is, but there's so many other things that they could be using those onions for. Alrighty. You know, in the Dollar Tree, actually, carries these fried onions now. It's about one cup in there, but still, they carry it now. It's actually, I think, cheaper than still buying it at, like, Meyer or Kroger or anything else. So I'm going to put that on there. And then, because I don't want to waste it, I'm going to kind of just sprinkle the balance of it over the top of all these. No point in letting all that go to waste, you know? All right. Now, this is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes or until your chicken is done at 400 degrees. All right, let me get this cleaned up and then I'll be back for the next thing. All right, I am definitely a big time mushroom fan, so is Tom. So I'm going to try for the first time to make fried mushrooms. <laughs> I've got my oil already over here um, starting to warm up and I'm gonna use Kinda the recipe I used when I did the popcorn chicken. Like I say, kinda. Alright, so I've got in this bowl two cups of flour. And I've got, let's see, two teaspoons of paprika and a tablespoon of onion powder. And I'm going to mix that all together. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to double do yet. Depends on how good... 
it covers. You know what I'm saying? So, it says the flower dip, then flower again. And you know, I didn't like that last time. <laughs> it made a big mess. Which is alright too, but... Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flour mixture inside. I'm going to do it differently and see how it works. And if it doesn't work, then we'll do it the other way. Alright, so I've got the eggs here. I've got my mushrooms. Um, because these were so big, I actually I chopped them in half. <laughs> so I'm going to put some mushrooms in there. And I'm going to coat them really good with the egg solution here. And then I'm going to do what somebody suggested and put them in the bag. And then I'm just going to shake it. Kind of like your shake and bake, right? <laughs> and coat them really good. And I'm going to put them right in the, the frying pan. We'll see how this first batch goes. If it doesn't do very well, then I guess you know we'll be doing it the right way. <laughs> yeah, just a little piece there, too. All right, so let's see how this one sticks to it, and I'll be right back. Actually, I think it's going to turn out just fine like that, to be honest. I'm going to put them on a paper plate here with a little tiny piece. I think it's turned, they turn out pretty nice. So I'm going to actually do that for the rest of them. I think I need to add a little bit more oil, though, so I'm going to do that, and then we'll have to warm back up. But um, I think that worked great. So, I am going to just put them in the um, eggs and then put it into the bag and coat them really good. Thanks for the advice, you guys. I think that'll work out wonderful, and they look beautiful. So, I think we've got a winner here. I'll be back. thought I'd bring you back for a minute to show the difference with having enough oil in there. Look how much better they're frying now. They look amazing. Jack did come over and try one. He said they were really good. But I'm finishing these up and then hopefully we'll get dinner put together and there just won't be a time today. All right, I'll be back. All righty, everything's done. Let me bring you down here. There's the mushrooms. And there's the chicken. Isn't that beautiful? All right. And here's my plate. I have the chicken, the mushrooms, the jello, and the coleslaw on it. So let's check this out. So here it is again. <laughs> let's try the chicken first. Mmm. 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 That is so tender and so flavorful. Oh, I like it. All right. Let's try one of the mushrooms. Mm. <laughs> I should have made some ranch dressing and I didn't. And I don't have any in the fridge either. <laughs> I like dipping them in ranch. Then we got the coleslaw. Messy eater. <laughs> mm. And make sure we get some fruit in there. Mm. The jello with the fruit. 
makes me think about my mom. Because she always put jello in her in our always put jello in her always put fruit in our jello. So quick and easy meal and it's tasty. Very tasty. I would definitely recommend the chicken and the French the mushrooms and the coleslaw and of course jello always is good. You guys have a very blessed night. Be a blessing. By the way, all the um, jars did seal. And it is my goal to do a special request um, canning video tomorrow. That is my goal. Doesn't mean it's going to get there, but I'm going to try to do it. So, you guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing. I'm going to eat some dinner. You guys have a very good night. And wherever you are, Tom, bye Tom.